Earlier videos, uh, you must have seen, I, would, I talked about circular economy for dummies. Uh, it really interested me. It says reject the traditional take, make, waste model. Well, this book is about rethinking how we can create food, buildings, fashion and other products without destroying planet Earth and burying the world in waste. So the planet is swimming in trash. Though the Industrial Revolution transformed the quality of life for everyone, it also produced billions of tons of plastic waste, nearly of which ends up in the oceans or in a landfill. At this rate, the oceans will contain more plastic than fish by 2050, they write. If we want to save the planet from a terrible waste resource and climate crisis, we have to transform our way of making things. So in order to transition the linear system that we all follow into a circular system, the natural world must act as our primary model, they write. And they've given an example of a tree. You can see this. I've drawn it. Now, just consider a tree, for example. A single tree can produce thousands of pieces of fruit in a single season, even though not every single piece of fruit will be harvested to eat. There's an abundance of produce. The tree doesn't di dictate how much fruit it produces based on the demand of the systems around it because it doesn't have to. There's no downside to abundance in the natural world. The extra fruit isn't wasted. However, it's consumed by birds and other creatures who then spread the seeds to produce more trees. Whatever the future of the fruit may be, whatever, wherever it falls, it cycles back into the system to encourage the production of more fruit the following year. It doesn't do it alone either. A wide array of insects, fungi, chemicals and minerals is involved in this process. The tree itself isn't controlling everything, but instead relies on a diverse network of partnerships with the surrounding um, environment. So let's just take this model of resource management and begin to translate it to whatever life cycle we are trying to transition from linear to circular. Our product is the fruit, our distribution agents are the birds, our process partners are the insects and fungi and so on. With this framework established, it's quite easy to figure out where the gaps are. When the product isn't purchased, do we have necessarily, uh, do we have necessary partners involved who can take the unused material and produce something from it that will further strengthen our operations? Can our seeds be shared to create opportunities for greater levels of production? Whatever waste is developed within the business needs to be seen as potential nourishment for another system rather than simply discarded to the landfill. So, I mean, look at that and you just read for yourself. It is so, the way they have explained the whole concept is so engaging. So, it writes linear result that you take, you make and then you waste. Circular is an, an economic revolution indeed. Well, that's the ISBN number, and it's the authors, Kyle and Eric Corey. Kyle J. Ritchie is the Education Sustainable Design Lead at Canon Design in Chicago, etc. And Eric Corey Fried is an award-winning architect, 12-time author, and global speaker, etc. You must read this. A must read for sure.